red potatoes for my mashed potatoes because I believe in eating the peel. The peel is one of the healthier things that you can eat in the potato and uh, it's kind of alarming that we always peel our potatoes and throw away the peel. This has a real nice peel that breaks down real easy in the mashed potato. So I always go with the red potato instead of the russet. Now you can use the traditional russet potato, that's fine. Um, um, and especially if you're doing a creamier mashed potato, you definitely want to use the russet and a creamier mashed potato you would not leave the peel on. So what I did is I started out with a quart of uh, diced up red potato and I boiled them till they were tender. Okay, so how tender do I go with them? Well, it depends what style of potatoes you want. I like the creamier, crunchier, textured, um, old fashioned country type of mashed potato. So I did not uh, uh, cook them, or, or I, I cooked them to their little bit al dente, but not quite. Now there's several ways that you can mash them up at this point. Um, one being, I just leave them in the pot because ergonomics, I don't want to have to do any more dishes. The other way is you can put them in your mixer and uh, mix them up. If you put them in the mixer, that would be the creamier style of potato and you're going to get much creamier. So uh, we're just taking the diced potatoes. Let me get this out of here. Uh, the other thing that I get asked a lot, how, what do you dice them or what do you mash them with? Well, I call them smashed potatoes because that's literally what I'm doing to them, more so than mashing. There's this uh, old fashioned wire type mashed potatoes. That works good for smashers with a little bit of crunch. If you want a creamier potato, here's this style of, uh, of mashed potatoes. But being in the food service industry, we never had any gadgets, so I always just relied on a whisk, a wire whisk, and just smash it down. I have my butter here, and I'm just going to add the butter a little at a time. And then I have heavy cream, two tablespoons of heavy cream. A little bit of heavy cream added in there. You can add a little bit of hot chicken stock if you want as well. Um, there are several variations that you can add to your smashed potatoes. And of course, you go after the consistency you want. If you want a creamier consistency, you smash the heck out of it until you get that consistency. I'm going to add a little bit more butter. This is not a healthy dish. <laughs> And a lot of Thanksgiving dinner is not. Okay, I have uh, sugar. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar to it. I have a pinch of salt. And once again, you sprinkle all over. You never just dump. And I'm going to incorporate those. And keep in mind, the more you play with it, the more it's going to smash down. I have a pinch of onion salt. Just a teeny tiny bit is all you need. And then, if you want, you can add a minced garlic to it. Uh, if you like the garlic, you can omit that, of course. Now, you can roast the garlic as well. If you don't want to put the garlic in there, you can put shallots. You can put wasabi powder to make a wasabi mashed potato. And that's basically mashed potatoes 101.